Welcome. Linear heat sense cable is actually not just a cable, it's actually a sensor. And we'll understand this amazing thing with an example of a sandwich. Let's use the analogy of a sandwich to understand that a sandwich has two breads. And the most important thing in a sandwich is its stuff inside, right? Similar is the case with heat sense cable. So here in a heat sense cable, you would have two core cables, which can be considered as the bread one and bread two of a sandwich. And the most important thing is the stuff in between which is the polymer now this is not any regular polymer so when you put some heat to this heat sense cable or there is a fire or there is some flame the polymer is actually a heat sensitive cable so when the particular set point is reached maybe 68 degrees Celsius for buildings around something of that any set point which is kept the polymer melts and once it melts, then you would have the both wires short together and a resistance would greatly reduce. And such thing is caught by the controller and an alarm is sounded. Now you would realize something that usually in heat sense cable, there are usually two cables used with suffix A and B most of the cases. Why is this like this? The reason for that is because we use a two out of two logic because a lot of times there could be some spurious trips. Like for example, a truck damages it or some hot process fluid falls on one cable and that's not an actual fire, right? So for such cases, what we do is we have cable A and cable B and we connect it in a two out of two logic. So if the cable A has red, that means there is some issue with it or there has been a fire, it detects the flame and cable B is green. Then the signal will then go to your control system and the control system would then generate an alarm saying something is wrong but not sure about the fire. But imagine if it's the other way around, cable A is now green but B is red. Again, there would just be an alarm. But what if both of them are red? Then this signal goes to activate the dilute system which basically tries to nullify the fire. So This is the simple explanation of linear heat sense cable. One more thing which I wanted to share was that I'm re releasing a free course. It could be for control walls, maybe engineering standards or PNID, but I'm not sure of which would be most helpful to you. So please comment in the comment section of which course would be the most helpful to you. And also please subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead.